I just want to share something with some of you guys that uh, might be interested because I did a lot of research and figured it out. So anyways, I got a CZ 527 uh, rifle. It has a 24 inch barrel. Its twist is 9 inches. One 9 inch twist. Um, I've been looking into doing some long range stuff with it and wanted to see how far I could push it. So I decided to get the 77 grain Sierra Match Canes and it says 7 and 8 inch twist barrels only. Well, I uh, looked at some forums and did some research and some people said it was possible, some people said it wasn't. So I decided just to do it myself. So I did some load development. I chose uh, Benchmark as my powder. And I just want to share with you uh, guys, whoever's interested, what I did. So I uh, here's a 22.5 grains Benchmark. Five shots. And these are all five shots. There's 22.6. 22.7, 22.8, and I decided to go a little bit hotter, one tenth of a grain over max, 22.9, and did nothing for it. That's the first and last time I will ever go over max, because 22.6 is the big winner, and I chose that over the 22.5 because of when you think about barrel harmonics and riding the wave getting your bullet to come out of the barrel when it's right in the right spot uh, you can see the elevation on this these ones this one's the same on the same plane um, and then I talked to some people that were really knowledgeable about shooting and I told them that I did this at 25 yards and I asked if it would be any different at 100 yards, and they said, nope, it would be the same. Because yeah, I looked on some forums, and a lot of people on there said, no, you, you know, 25 yards doesn't mean anything, but uh, they're full of hogwash. Anyways, uh, so 77 grain, and what I did was I uh, took it out to the range, I loaded up some more. I actually used the uh, Lee factory crimp with it and here is my group at 100 yards three shot very similar 25 yards here 100 yards here now I know I can go to the range where I'm a member at and do load development on my guns and not have to worry about traveling an hour to go to the outdoor one where I can shoot 100 yards good to go and what I did was as I loaded up a whole bunch at 22.6 and I printed out a long range ballistic calculator powered by G7. You know, no one's done this yet and you like hitting targets. I suggest you do this because it was spot on. I loaded it up. <clears throat> I did a couple of different uh, wind, wind speeds and everything. I got my click value, my bullet weight, speed, muzzle velocity. Uh, it's all there. I dialed in every one of these. When I went out to 200, 300, oh, sorry, this one on the drop, I was dealing with a 6 o'clock wind and a 12 o'clock wind. And so my wind column I didn't really need to mess with. It just shifted 6 and 12, 6 and 12 down in the canyon. So, but I dialed in 4.7 and uh, I was nailing that 600 yard target spot on every time. It was insane. This saved me so much ammo. So, um, they got a website you can do this at. Highly recommend it. Um, so anyways, just want to share that you can do load development at 25 yards. If it makes it easier for you. Thanks, have a good day.